pace is not in my vocabulary. Attributed to Yara Mordica, commander of the 13th and 5th Support Regiment. <clears throat> in this video, we're going to check out the rapier armed weapons carriage platform thing. Sci-fi Sci war, war gamers. gamers. Greetings, old Hammer fans. How are we today? My name's Marcel, and it's my mission to help you explore the hobby. So, today, we're going to be having a little look into the past and checking out one of my favourite teeny tiny tracked weapons of the Imperial Guard, and I think maybe some other races or factions got it as well later on. The Rapier, not Rapier, the Rapier weapons carriage platform. Is it a weapons carriage? Is it an armoured weapons carriage? Or is it just the rapier weapons platform? Oh, let's just jump in. Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader Hardware The Imperial Army Rapier Designed by Michael and Alan Perry The Rapier mobile gun carriage with multi-laser comes complete with Imperial Army crew. Rapier carriers are strongly built automated vehicles which make it possible to transport heavy weapons to the battlefield. An ideal support weapon both for close assaults and effective defence. Rapier gun carriers are incorporated into Imperial Army forces at both the company and regimental level. Each troop company has a support squad which ideally includes five rapier carriers as well as other mobile support weapons such as mole mortars. In practice the natural attrition of campaigning tends to mean that support squads operate with whatever they can get. They are easily distinguished by their blue artillery uniforms with yellow shoulder pads bearing the company insignia. Individual rapiers are also used in the front line to support infantry squads. At the regimental level, rapiers and other heavy weapons are organised into whole support companies. These unwieldy outfits are used to provide heavy bombardments or en masse support for major offensives. In theory, a company comprises 10 machines, often divided between two types, such as 5 rapiers and 5 mole mortars. But they are often reduced to so few weapons that they are forced into a supporting role on the battlefield rather like the company support squads. Regimental support companies wear the same blue tunics as the company support squads, but with a distinctive red shoulder pad rather than yellow. Rapiers are equipped with an auto drive which allows the carrier to move forward on its own, thus making it possible to move and fire at the same time. Rapiers also have a targeter to improve the accuracy of the weapon carried. The crew are still required to operate and fire the weapon as well as to direct the carriage itself. The rapier is often equipped with a multi-laser, a popular and effective support weapon easily recognised by its quadruple laser chamber. The rapier is capable of mounting different weapons, such as multi-melters or las cannons. So, the rapier mobile gun carriage, that's the correct term and that's the term I'll forget immediately. What did you think of this teeny tiny miniature? Did you ever use one in your old hammer Imperial Guard Army or were they still the Imperial Army? Um, do you prefer the old sculpt or the new sculpt? Or I say new, I mean the current sculpt. If you enjoy the content on this channel, then please consider joining the Patreon page, the link to which is in the description below. If you want to see some more Old Hammer, and I know you do, then check out the playlist up here somewhere. Please don't forget to like, 
and subscribe. That means you, Thomas. As always, thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels.